Ash, first question from me. Uh, I mean, Amanda's obviously been one of the form players of, of the swing. How does it feel to get that win under your belt? Yeah, I felt like tonight was uh, was different to the other couple of matchups I'd had. I felt like there were there were new challenges, and uh, I felt overall did a pretty good job of being able to control my own service games and put a lot of pressure on her service games, which in the end it just kept building pressure over time. Okay, we'll go to questions in the room. Please raise your hand. Yep, Darren. Enjoyed being tested by. Is it also important at this stage of the tournament to, to be tested? I'm tested every every single match in in different ways in in unique ways from every opponent. So I think tonight was was just another test of. I know that Amanda's played some really good tennis over the last couple of weeks. Um, is obviously feeling really confident on these courts, and it was nice to be able to get through today, be really clear uh, with what I wanted to try and do. Enjoy it. Uh, I felt like I hit the ball well, and and I was able to control it and put it in areas that I wanted to today. In terms of kind of styles that you've overcome so far this week, how does that prepare you for um, for what Jess might um, offer in the quarters? Each each I mean each and every player is different. Um, each and every player they there are some similarities, um, but certainly tactics and, and the way that I want to play is unique to each and every player. And I try and adapt my game as best as I can um, to try and make my opponent uncomfortable. And that'll be no different when. When Jess and I play in a couple of days' time, I'm, my job is to try and make her uncomfortable and, and hopefully I can execute that, um, have some fun with it and, and make uh, make life difficult for her. Thank you. And another one. Um, Rod Blaver this week said the way you've been playing, make, when you're playing at your best, you're unbeatable and that you've, you've got something special coming up um, for the next you know well, week now. How does it make you feel to, to hear those sort of words from a legend like, um, like, like Rod? Oh, it's it's so nice to have Rod here. First and foremost, it's it's so nice to have him enjoying his own house, uh, enjoying his his own court. Um, he was unbeatable. I'm, I'm certainly not. I'm just out here doing what I can, uh, enjoying it, trying to trying to like I said, trying to make my opponent's life as uncomfortable as possible. That's that's my job ultimately, and and do it with a smile, have some fun with it. Um, it's, we try and keep it really light, just have lots of clarity, um, go out, have fun with it, get after it, and see how we go. Chance. Have you had many, uh, uh, I mean, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, Rod, the, he doesn't travel as much um, these days. Obviously, he's a, he's an exceptional human being. He's an amazing champion of our sport. Um, he's iconic. It's it's just amazing to be in his presence. Um, and and at the, in the same breath, he's also he's he's a down to earth Queenslander who just who just loves his sport. Um, and as, as Australians, we're we're extremely lucky that that he he's still able to enjoy the tennis with us. Um, and yeah, hopefully, hopefully there's a few more left. Mm -hmm. You were asked on court about playing Jess, and you said you, you actually couldn't remember at the time that uh, that the French Open. But you said you'd also practiced with her a bit. What does she do well? I remember it now that, that Jim told me. I mean, I, I remember I remember we played the ball ring um, at in Paris, so it, it did it did check my memory. But Jess is able to control the baseline. She's able to take time away from you take balls line, particularly off her back end. And I mean, she's she loves these courts. She made a quarter here last year. Um, the last couple of years, her progression and her confidence with the way that she plays and ha has has gone and absolutely skyrocketed. Um, she's she's a great a great competitor. I, again, one of her best attributes is the fact that she can compete point in point out and irrelevant of the score. She's able to turn up time and time again. So we we just have to compete, go out there and have fun and see how we go. Um, you're broken for the first time in what feels like a lifetime tonight. Um, in general, how did that feel? And in general, how happy were you with, with your service game? Otherwise, obviously, you know, sent down your biggest serve of, of the tournament tonight and another bunch of aces and some easy holds. Uh, yeah, it didn't, didn't bother me too much. Um, honestly, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not counting how many games I hold in a row or not, but the fact that I was able to reset, break straight back um, was really important just to be able to reset myself, go again and, and continue to do the right things. In, in that game, Amanda saw a few second serves that she was able to punish and, and she also had some really good returns off, off first serves. And you, you tip your hat and you say, um, too good to your opponent when they come up with returns on the baseline and move on pretty quickly and, and continue to try and do the right things. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a part of my game that I continue to work on. I, I enjoy um, trying to be aggressive and assertive with my serve and yeah, it's put us in pretty good stead. Anything else in the room? Following Kyrgios and uh, Kokonakis in the doubles, and do you think they're a genuine chance? Uh, I saw they won today. I didn't see any of it, but I saw they did win. Um, so I'm not sure what round they're up to, but yeah, good luck to them. <laughs> I, I don't know where they are in the draw. Okay, I think we'll go online. If you have any online questions, please raise your hand now. 
And we will start with uh, Craig Gabriel. Your question, please. Ash, it's, it's often been said you got a peak in the second week of a major. Um, and we're now at the start of the second week. Where would you suggest you are and how much more do you have to move? Uh, I am right where I am and I, I don't have to move uh, at all for the time being. All I have to do is um, try and bring my best on that given day to, to try and upset my opponent and do what I can to um, to try and win that tennis match. There's, there's no focus or or concern about the level. Uh, it's, just about, uh, it's just about going out there on that day trying to give you the best that you can on that given day with, with the conditions, with, with all that's going on and accepting that, having fun with it, enjoying it and, and trying to trying to beat your opponent one-on-one. -on -one. And just a question, a non-tennis question. Um, I, I, this, today I saw the commercial you did with Ashwin Harrison. Um, what was that like, That making that commercial and, and how much input did you have in it and any, any comments about it? It was it was an incredible experience. Um, Ashwin was was uh, just amazing with the way that he was able to um, to do his drawing and present his art, and for me to be able to contribute in a very small way with with hitting tennis balls and creating the creating the flair was was incredible. It was a lot of fun that day. Um, and there, there was a period where Ashwin and I both forgot that, that you know there were cameras in the room. It was so natural for both of us just to kind of watch how it evolved. Um, it's for an incredible cause for the Make a Wish Foundation. I, I really hope that it does do well. Uh, and you know it's able to provide for people that are in need. It's it's going to be uh, an incredible um, auction once it is finished. But it was a lot of fun that day. Okay. And we'll take our next questions from Courtney. Hey Ash, congratulations. Um, just speaking on Jess, uh, as you guys have practiced, how different is her type of power, her ball off the racket? You know, you're coming in off of coming off two very powerful players who hit the ball differently as well. So can you kind of give us an idea of kind of what makes Jess's ball particularly dangerous and special? It's a, it's a bit different because she's able to hold baseline really well. Um, her, her swings are quite linear and she gets, um, you know, a racket behind the ball and swings through the path. So the, the, the ball comes at you at a different trajectory and um, her ability to absorb pace and then add to it when she wants to is, is exceptional. So it's going to be... Um, a challenge for me to try and push her off that baseline and make her uncomfortable and feel like she has to create. Um, but I know that she's also going to be doing the exact same thing to me and trying to make me uncomfortable. So that's the, the chess, the game that we play and you go out there, have fun with it. Um, and yeah, see, see who can execute better on the day. Uh, and that's, that's about all there is to it. And we'll take our last questions from Reem. Thank you. Um, hi, Ash, congrats. Just going off what you said on court about just being yourself and that's how you kind of acted after being world number one. And I'm curious, what was there ever a moment for you where it got difficult or you felt that the pressure was a bit more than other times or or has it all been the same the whole time? There have been learnings without a doubt. I think being able to, um, to accept that we had a fantastic season in 2019 and we were able to achieve a dream of of reaching the world number one was incredible. And I think being able to continually challenge myself and, and challenge my team to be better every day and to grow every day was was a massive part of that. Um, but it's, it's, it's never been uh, difficult. It's, it's just been a lot of fun. Um, it's been a lot of fun trying to continue to grow and get better every day, um, develop as a person as well as a tennis player. And I think they definitely go hand in hand for, for me and, and my team, the way that we're able to communicate, work together and, um, lighten up, um, have fun with it, but also really switch on and, and go to work when we need to. I think our balance is brilliant. It's been been able to allow us to, to have fun with it over the last three years. Um, take it for what it is and, and just enjoy it.